the Musketeers. Feral cats of this parish. It's okay, Mickey. The ginger one's Mickey. The one in the middle is Dennis. And the one on the right hand side is Daphne. Daphne was actually hit by a car a couple of years ago and she did something bad to her diaphragm we took her to the vet, she actually came for help which was amazing for a stray cat she came for help it's ok Mickey they're very nervous which is probably why they're in such good condition and still alive because you can't trust anyone they're really beautiful cats every day, twice a day, sometimes more. They come at night too. We leave food out for them at night, wet food generally. They don't always eat it as you can see. I need to get used to looking down far enough with these glasses so that people can see. But I'm absolutely amazed with these glasses. Hey guys. Hey, happy. They like it here because it's sheltered from the sun. They get the best of the breeze. I'll go and leave these guys in peace now. Wendy, sorry. Skip is uh, three quarters of the way there. Most of the big stuff's loaded now. George wants to put in the cuttings from what he's been doing to his garden, which he's very welcome to do if there's any space. stuff's left here because the metal man will take it. He's not actually a metal man, you know what I mean? He's a scrap, scrap man. He's not made out of scrap either. Ah, you know what I mean. These things, we used to make shelters, small shelters for feral cats. And we still do when it's necessary, but we got oversupplied with the containers got them from, it's for pool shock or something like that. We got them from a professional pool cleaner. So he's doing it every day to dozens and dozens of uh, swimming pools. So he got a bit giddy and gave us dozens of the darn things. So we washed them all out so that they're safe. Because the stuff that's inside them is quite nasty. Nasty uh, chemicals. I don't remember what it's called now, but I think it's pool shop. I don't know it's chemical symbol. Some kind of disinfectant. I don't think you'll get all that in there. He might. He might. I don't know how tall it can go. So the truck will take it. Guys, I've seen up this area before, maybe once or twice. This is the little wooded area, the corpse, that the village is named after. It's called Dasaki. Dasaki means small forest or wood. So it's the small forest of this is the wood yard, scaffolding yard actually. More oh, wind, sorry. I know that you'll pick this up. It 
the guys are really, really busy here. This is where all the keep the scaffolding here. They seem to be really busy every day. Probably has, has trouble with the cats pooping in it, but he doesn't he doesn't uh, say anything. He likes the cats, especially George and Harrison, the two white ones that he found as babies. He loves them and they love him. It's incredible, actually. Such a bond. They didn't forget. So they they virtually live with George now. And the, the three musketeers, of whom there are four, at least four, they live somewhere in the land as well, around in the olive grove. The fourth one is Pip. Pip used to be Chili Pepper's girlfriend, but they fell out. I think Pip wanted Chili Pepper to go with her and join the gang but he didn't. He stayed at home. And Pip, one day we found her around here somewhere. She was screaming and screaming and screaming with pain. We didn't know what was wrong with her. And it turned out she had an ectopic pregnancy. It was very sad. But she's all fixed up now and she's been neutered and everything's done. So she's happy now. I'm exhausted today. I need a drink. Cheers guys. See you later. Bye.